There's a small house sitting in Washington Park that has a big story to tell, a story that people often ask about when they're hanging out in the park. But right now, park goers are fenced off from history because the house was one of the casualties of the bomb cyclone back in March. To this day, no one can get into this home, including the Denver Parks and Recreation team that works inside. Now, since you can't go in and ask, we decided to learn its history from a man who knows it well. The Eugene House in Washington Park is one of our most treasured landmarks, and I was sorry to see it clobbered by a tree during that snow cyclone earlier this year. I'm Tom Noel, a professor of history at the University of Colorado at Denver. Eugene Fieldhouse is a great story in preservation. It was originally like something like 300 West Colfax Avenue, downtown the heart of Civic Center. Molly Brown herself, the unsinkable Molly Brown, was worried about it when they were building Civic Center Park. That cottage was in the way. It was going to be demolished, but Molly Brown, who was a great fan of Eugene Field and his poetry, said no, and she paid to move it to Washington Park, where it was made a branch of the Denver Public Library. Eugene Field was a journalism who traveled around quite a bit, came to Denver to work on the Denver Tribune. And he didn't really stay here this long. He was hired away by a Chicago newspaper. So he was only here a few years, but made an indelible remark, left some of our finest poetry about Colorado places and Colorado history. Right next to the house is a sculpture, and uh, it is a model for his most famous poem. Winkin, blinkin', and nod, one night sailed off in a wooden shoe, sailed on a river of crystal light into a sea of dew. Denver Parks and Rec says they are in the process of repairing the historic home. They hope to start work in about a month and they have and they hope to have Eugene Fieldhouse reopen early next year.